Ron, no. Ron, go outside. Good morning, guys. Um, it's a very pretty day out, but very cold. Um, yeah, it's just getting going, so letting the dogs out, all that good stuff. What are you doing, Opie? All right, so I'm doing exactly what I said I wasn't going to do two days ago, which is go to be a guest at a commercial gym. I thought I, I said I was going to do like three at home uh, style workouts with the equipment I brought up. However, I just can't pass up the opportunity to hit up the cable machines if I have them available to me, especially when I'm doing things like back and shoulders. It's just such a great opportunity that I don't always have. Um, so when I have it, it's like I can't not take advantage of it. That being said, I'm back at the Olathe Family YMCA because yesterday I trained here for free. I'm not sure if that was the person at the desk being nice or that's a policy. But basically, I'm just going to go in there again today and ask for a guest pass and see if they make me pay again. Hopefully, I'll get off like I did last time for free um, because I'd rather not spend my money to have to come to um, the commercial gym if I don't have to but whatever um, but yeah so yeah uh, like short update on the day basically all I've had to eat so far was uh, the egg sandwich which you guys saw then we basically spent the kind of afternoon just hanging around playing Battlefield 1 um, putting up Christmas decorations which you guys saw that time lapse of us putting the tree together well of my wife and my um, half sister-in-law putting the tree together uh i was more just standing i was supervising i was the supervisor uh, <laughs> um uh if you guys are like in a large if you've ever worked in a large corporate company you know why that's funny um that being said uh what else oh and then i had some uh lots of coffee of course and i had a few strips of beef jerky um and some pretzel goldfish and so that's what i've had to eat so far I just had my amino energy and creatine. Now I'm gonna go in here and lift and hopefully they don't make me pay to do it.
Thank you. Workout finished, workout finished, workout finished. It's a good training session. Uh, back and biceps, which makes it good to begin with, but uh, even better, I mean, the, just the, the more I use the cables on back days, the more I kind of feel like they're more of an essential part of comprehensively training your back. However, that, bar is probably set a little higher for me than you or maybe even the general average sorry guys I'm a silhouetted right here because of the Sun um, it's probably a bar that I've set a little bit higher than most people from like a performance aesthetic physique thing and just probably a probably a pre preference thing as well um, like if you have access to cables, use them. There's nothing wrong with machines, there's nothing wrong with the cables. They're just as effective as free weights and free weights are just as effective as cables. Each one offers its own, um, its own benefit. However, you can still make a lot of progress and get a lot of gains with either or and with both. So it's really a preference thing I think and uh, what do you have available kind of question. Um, but I sure do enjoy using them when I get an opportunity to. Uh, as you guys saw the training clip. One of the uh, things I like doing or have been doing a lot recently is switching up grips on rows. So if you're going to do four or five or six sets of like a pulley row or a barbell row or anything like that, what, I, what I've been doing recently is dividing those sets up into different grips. So if I'm doing like a barbell row, I'll do one set of a normal medium width um, grip. The next set I'll do a medium width reverse grip. The next set I might do a little bit wider uh, normal grip. And then on the last set I might go back to the uh, medium grip, uh, reverse, medium width reverse grip. So it's just like changing up how you're holding the bar and just hitting it from different angles. You're still getting the basic movement of the row, but throwing in those different grip positions just adds in a little bit of variety, a little bit of angles. Is it necessary? No, but um, you know, training the muscle from all different angles and in all different positions is never a bad thing. Um, so give that a try next time you do back. Uh, so what's up next? Um, leaving the YMCA. They didn't make me pay again, which was awesome. So it must it's some kind of family and friends weekend or something. So that was good. Uh, so next up after here, it's time to get something to eat. I believe at my father-in-law's house, they're having ham and beans. Nothing wrong with ham and beans. I'm just not a big fan. Um, and I also need to go and buy my son a teething ring uh, because I think that's why he's being kind of fussy in the evenings lately. Um, so I'll probably go to Walmart since so I'm already at Walmart to buy one of these teething ring things. I'm going to get something to eat there other than ham and beans because I just like ham and beans is like a perfect post-workout meal. It's like protein, um, some starchy carbs, like it's actually a pretty good post-workout meal. I just don't like it. And on that topic, and this isn't really like related to like this evening and my dinner choice, but it could be relevant to you. There's nothing wrong with opting out of a dinner that's being served to you. If that dinner, one, you don't like it, or two, it doesn't fit your nutritional needs for whatever goal it is. So if your family is going out for pizza, 
There's nothing wrong with tagging along and getting something else besides pizza. Even that means you like stop on the way and get something else and take it into the restaurant and don't give a fuck if they care because you know, you're that badass. But what I'm trying to show you is that there's a lot of social pressure to to say yes to a, to a free meal or yes to a meal that's being made or served to you. But there's nothing rude or wrong with being open and honest and communicating that that meal doesn't fit your current needs. There's nothing wrong with the meal. Thank them for making it, but under, explain to them that you're chasing these goals that are really important to you and you'd like to stick with them, like to keep making progress with them, so you're going to opt out for something different. Doesn't mean you have to socially martyr yourself and not eat and starve or, or be completely like condescending and rude about that meal being bad for people or bad for them or you know any of those things. Like it's just being polite and saying thank you so much. But I'm trying to lose a little bit more fat before X date, and so I need to go with something that's a little bit lower calorie or. I've used up too many of my carbs today, so I'm going to have to eat a little bit lower carbs. So I'm going to opt out of that meal, and I'm going to do something different. There's nothing wrong with that, right? And if your family or your friends try to tell you there's something wrong with it, then, then in my opinion, there's something wrong with that social dynamic because people who love you and care about you and want to see you succeed will support you in that goal. It's just my two cents. Um, all right, enough of that rant. I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm not having much luck finding baby stuff at this Walmart. You gotta believe they got diapers somewhere. And I thought we might have a teething ring with the baby products, but it doesn't look like they do. Jackpot. Skipped through the entire aisle. I found it though. Look at all the diapers. So many diapers. Let's see if they've got teething rings. Teething rings. They got binkies. Tops for bottles. But I do not see teething rings. Well, stop number one in my mission to find teething rings, unsuccessful. Neighborhood Walmart does not carry teething rings. So, we're gonna try a full-fledged Supercenter Walmart. Hopefully they will have them. You know, I would think if you carry like bottles, if you carry nipples, if you carry binkies, like you can't throw like one skew of a few teething rings up there. Uh, they probably don't sell a lot of them, so I, I mean, I can kind of understand that, but come on, can help brother out. It's a full-scale Walmart, not just one of those neighborhood markets.
Closer. So that was an epic and utter fail. Two Walmarts, one a neighborhood Walmart, one a full super center Walmart. I couldn't find any teething rings. I don't know if I'm the problem or if Walmart just doesn't stock this item. I have to imagine that most people buy their baby products or a significant portion of them from Walmart. So I don't know if the teething rings is like a specialty product where you get it from like baby stores like babies are us things like that i'm not really certain i'm kind of confused here however my wife is still uh determined to find one of these things so she is going to pick up her half sister from the movies and while she is doing that she's going to stop at some different stores and try to find them so the teething ring saga continues however you guys aren't interested in that although we just spent the last few clips on it now we're going to segue into Steven getting dinner, so that'll be next. Uh, 
My camera batter is dying, but as you guys saw, dinner is Chick-fil-A. I got a grilled chicken sandwich and a 12 count nugget regular. It's about 700 calories. Not sure on the macros though yet, um, but they should be pretty good. Carbs, probably highest on the carbs. Next protein, I would say probably 60 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, maybe 15, 20 grams of fat, but we'll total it up um, and see. Um, but yeah, so my camera battery's about ready to die, so this is the last couple of my film. I'm gonna go home now. He's at the top of those steps. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, crushing pink tacos is up there. No, we're up there. <laughs> 